Hi guys, in this video I wanted to go over how you can create your own throttle for flight sim in under 10 minutes. Because that's all it takes to get this bad boy working. Now, I'm going to be looking with you at the programming of it, how to get the potentiometer to work and how to send the data to the game. Um, I'm not going to be looking over the construction too much. I'm going to tell you how I made mine, but you, you are free to use your own imagination. If you'd like it, please leave a like. If you want to keep updated, subscribe and I hope you enjoy this one. Hi guys, before this video, before we actually start with the coding part, I wanted to show you how you can download our input handler. You can go to bitsandroids.com slash downloads and there you will find the Bits and Droids input handler version 0.0.1. If you download it, download this, you will get a zip file, which you just have to unpack. And once it's unpacked, you can execute it. It's going to ask you if it's safe. Then you have to enter the COM port where your Arduino is connected and it will work. It will only work if the game is launched, so if it isn't launched, it will just close itself. This will all become open source over the coming months, so uh, I will share it all with you and I hope you can actually learn how the backend works as well. So that is coming up in future videos and uh, so I will you don't have to be afraid that you can't see the code, how it works. That will all be coming up in the near future. Have fun in the rest of the video. So, hey guys, I'm going to show you how you can create your own throttle in under 10 minutes. Because that's how easy this is going to be. It's going to only take 10 lines of code and that's all we need. Well, let's first get started by seeing where we hooked up our potentiometer. So, let's say in the pot pin. And in my case, I've hooked it up to the A0. Now, it's important that you hook it up to an analog port. So, that's going to be A0. A1, A2, up to 5, I believe, is on the Nano, and the Uno has something around those as well. I've just noticed that I forgot to tell you that you can use any Arduino you'd like for this project. So if it's a Nano, Uno, Mega, it doesn't matter, all should work. So as long as an analog port, it's fine. So we're going to say int pot pin is A0. I'm going to say int value is uh, nothing. So we need a value that comes from the pot pin. I will need a percentage to send to the game. This, this will be the percentage of the throttle being pushed in. Well, we first say, what will our pot pin do? It will still be pot pin. It's going to be an input. I will need a serial to actually see what is going on. So, 9600, close it. Now, what is going to happen is we have our potentiometer. And if we rotate this, the potentiometer will move. So what will be passed? Because the potentiometer is hooked up to an analog port, we could do value is analog read pot pin. So it's going to read the strength of the signal that's coming in over the pot pin. And we're just going to write that out already because then we can see what it is passing. Here we go. So we're going to write the value and add in a little delay just to make everything readable. And we uploaded it. Upload it. Here we go. And if we now open our serial monitor, we should be able to see. Uh, oh, I'm see. I made a mistake. Serial dot print line not begin. Because that would not make any sense to begin again. So here we go, re uploaded it. And now we see values coming in. Zero is closed, and the max is 1023. Now we could also visualize this with the serial plotter. And here we go, if we close it, it goes all the way down. And if we go up, you see that it can just change change on the state of the handle. So you can make all kinds of figures with it, but that's the deal. The max was 1023. So we know that 1023 will be 100% of a throttle and zero in this case will be no throttle at all. So what are we going to do? It's going to say percentage is the value that is coming in. So that's somewhere between 0 and 1023. And we divide it by the max value. So in our case, 10, 
to three dot zero because we need a decimal number times 100. So if we would leave the dot zero, our system would round it all to ints and we, we would all either get zero or one depending if it's closed or open and we don't get everything in between. So it's important to add the dot zero so our system knows that we need the decimal number in the first part. Then we multiply it by 100 because in we were going to work with percentages and it's going to round it because it's an integer itself. Now, if you would serial.print line, I'm going to re just write percentage. If I'm correct, things should already look different. Here we go. And we're going to, oh, I got the plotter open still. Close that. And as you might see at 55%, 100 closed and everything in between so that is working so that's fine this is already all we need to get this working as a throttle in game so let's just have a quick look we we'll open up a program i know that is on the com port 4 mine so is the game running yes now it's going to be a little bit cheating because I'm going to skip forward in time because I don't think the loading counts for the sub 10 minutes. So if, as we already can see, if we run the program, we see the values it's receiving and the values it's sending to the game. So in this case, the throttle should be at 90% and that's correct. 100 all the way down to zero and everything in between. So that's actually all there is to it. And once, like I said, it's gonna be so easy and it's gonna be such a small time that it, this is already worth the investment because the Arduino Nano is like five euros in my country and the potentiometer, I bought some for eight cents a piece from AliExpress. I've used a 10K one, so my max value is 1023. Always make sure that if you use this that the 1023 is the max value of your potentiometer so just check with the serial monitor to see what your max value is and use that instead of the 1023 if it's different so that's actually just how you can use a throttle in game so works as a charm let me have a quick look at how i've actually created it so if you take a look at our throttle we can actually just hide the box. It, uh, it's just a shaft connected to a gear driving a smaller gear. Now with gears, there is a rule that says the amount of teeth on the driving one. So this, the, the, the main one that you change in position, divided by the amount of teeth on the smaller one will determine how many rotations the smaller one will take. So if this one has 30, teeth and this one has 10 teeth this will rotate thrice in the amount of time it would take to rotate this one once so we accelerate by a factor of three and why is this important well our potentiometer has a, at least mine does so just check for yourself with yours has a 300 degree range while this shaft only can rotate 100 degrees before it hits the edges so in my case, I had to convert the 300 degrees to a, one, a 100 degrees rotation to a 300 degree rotation. And that's why I went with this size. Once again, there are all kinds of constructions possible. And this one is 3D printed. This was my first version of a knob. It was way too heavy, it didn't work. And this was the eventual second version with room for a button and a way for the cables to actually go through the handle itself and come out at the bottom to the Arduino potentiometer on this side. So this is just a quick inspiration on how I made mine. Once again, this works. It isn't perfect yet. I need to add more friction so it can handle the weight of the shaft better, but that is all just coming up in the future. 
So if you like these kind of projects and want to keep updated, uh, you can always subscribe at the bottom of this video. Please let me know if you have any suggestions or questions and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.